Well, hi again, everybody. I'm Philip Goodman. I'm Sabrina Karstensen. And we are from the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group One Inc. in Reno, Nevada. Today, Sabrina and I are going to take a look at the April 19 real estate market activity down in Minden and Gardnerville. If this is your first time tuning in to one of our market videos, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below because we are constantly putting out new content. We absolutely are. All right. Well, the snow has melted. Real estate activity is picking up. Let's see what happened down in Minden. Let's go. We have pulled the data from the multiple listing service for Minden and Gardnerville for April 2019 on the top and April 2018 on the bottom. And Sabrina, it was a lot easier to work off of these PDFs than it was with the uh, MLS skin. So for you longtime viewers, this is why it's a little bit different. So Sabrina, tell us what happened in April. Median price in April rose 9.1% from March to $395,000. This is actually down 1% from April 2018. The 67 units sold in April is only four more than sold in March and down 23% from last year. 102 average days on market for April is right at March's 103 and still two weeks better than 2018. Minden has more high value homes and we typically see luxury homes on the market longer, which can also result in a few sales for a period. Percent of asked received went up 1% to 98.7 from 97.7% in March. This is also up from 2018's 98.3%. And if you haven't seen the March report where we sourced some of these figures, click the link you see in the upper right corner now. Here we are on our website, crenohomesforsale.com, and our featured property this month for Gardnerville is 1162 Joe Lane in Gardnerville. Tell us about this very intelligently laid out property. This home is a million fifty. It's three beds, three baths, 5,751 square feet. It does sit on 19.5 acres, built in 2007. Sabrina, so this is what it looks like when you have no neighbors for 20 acres. Yes, absolutely. And we talked about the intelligent design of this. Talk about this tree line. So the owners put some really extra special care in the landscaping. Each and every tree has its own landscape drip system. And I recognize these trees. They're gonna grow up to be, looks like the tall skinny cypress, which are gonna make for some great privacy barriers. They sure are. And it's really some great shade too for that patio. And for such a large property and a long driveway, having this paved is gonna make it a lot easier to shovel or plow in the winter. Yep, absolutely. These are two converted RV garages that they've converted into living space. It almost looks like this is commercial grade uh, glass and window frames. Absolutely. And if you highlight the bottom area, that's actually a gym area. It's currently empty, but that's what they used it for. This home features two office spaces. This is one of the two. There's a gym in the back. This would be perfect for somebody that does their business from home. This is a shot from the master bedroom overlooking their property. There are no blinds on the windows because there are no neighbors that could peek in. Check out this incredible whirlpool tub too. What a tile job around this. It comes with a remote. It's definitely a smart bathtub. Well, to see more listings by the Nevada Real Estate Group, click the link you see in the upper right corner now. Well, there's your look back at the April 19 real estate market activity down in Minden and Gardnerville. If you're ready to take a look at that incredible property that Sabrina just showed you, you can contact her. Her information is in the YouTube description below. We hope you found this information very helpful. And if you did, please give it a share and a like on your social media too. For the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group One Inc. in Reno, Nevada, I'm Philip Goodman. I'm Sabrina Karstensen. We'll see you next month. Bye.